So I use a lot of different scrubbers for cleaning tile and grout, especially in the shower. This one I use quite often too. It's one of my secret weapons in my arsenal. And what's great about this is if you have a back issue, if you're not able to bend down like you used to, if you're older, injured, this is a great tool to have. And what's good about this is it has uh, a, many different tips that you can use and nozzles. Well, three to be exact, and they all have a different purpose. So we're using a peroxide cleaner uh, instead of uh, bleach. Um, it's not as corrosive as bleach. It's safer on bleach. If, if, it was, if I was to get those mats wet, you, you know, with uh, the chemical, it wouldn't stain it. Um, so here we're starting out with uh, this pointy tip here. And what this is really good for is getting right into the grout lines. If you have any specific uh, grout line that you just want to agitate the chemical into, this one is perfect. It's really good. Now, mind you, I'm using only one hand. I know people always criticize, oh, you're holding it wrong, you're doing it wrong. When the camera shuts off, I'm going to go over it with two hands again. So please, please understand that. I don't know if some people, you know, a lot of people don't make videos or they don't have the, the um, or they don't have the capacity to understand that. And that just right up front, right off the bat, before I get comments about it habitually all over the place. So with that out of the way, you can see... Uh, it's really good at getting into those grout lines if you have any problem areas that you want to agitate the chemical into. <clears throat> this one is good for an overall bigger space. Mind you, again, I'm using one hand. Much easier to control with two hands. And I'm, like, operating the camera. I'm looking, filming, uh, multitasking here, so bear with us. Um... And you can see how you, it's very effortless. I'm not having to hold on to a button the entire time. I'm just holding the handle. Uh, and it works really good. This uh, spins at 360 degrees. It's, it's essentially a rotary brush. Um, and it's aggressive enough to get those grout lines, agitation. Now, your chemical is going to do most of the work. A lot of people think you have to blast the tile and the grout to do the cleaning. No, your chemical is what does the cleaning. What you're going to do is activate the chemical with this brush. So you're going to agitate and activate and allow the chemical to work better to clean the tile and grout. So that's what we're doing right here. So you can see, again, when you want to get in an area of focus on, you could use this uh, tip right here. And 
great for corners. You're going to need to clean corners. Um, very, very useful to do that when, you know, those corners can get bad uh, and have an accumulation of mildew. And then this one, you can see right here. And we were going to get the walls like that too. Uh, I can't film everything about the cleaning, but I can give you an idea of what it's like, mind you, with only one hand. And you could also take it apart, make it a little smaller, make it easier to use, get rid of that extension pole. And there you go. There you have it. Easy cleaning to do the walls. Um, very useful. You could, this is good for sinks too. And I uh, thank you for watching and take care.